And I'll, I'll do my best to repeat the question because I know there's a lot of folks here that maybe can't hear the question that's being asked. Thanks, Dad. Uh, the question that was asked was, would I work with you and other people in the community who are concerned about issues like the recent death of the baby during the ice storm? The answer is an unequivocal yes. <coughs> At the time that that was happened, um, I expressed my concern about that. We actually had five people including that young child die on the streets of our community. That is five more people that should have died on the streets of our community. And I believe as a, you know, I consider our, us to be a progressive and uh, hopeful community. That's not consistent. We don't have enough safe and uh, humane alternatives for the many, many people who are living on the streets of this community. I'm certainly aware of that. I'm looking for the good solutions. And yes, uh, I will work with you or anybody else who has good ideas. I do want to say this. Um, during the ice storm, we actually called on the community to help us. And I know there's sort of this refrain that government should solve all of these problems. I'm just telling you point blank. Government cannot solve all of these problems without the community's active engagement. And uh, I was very proud of the way the community stepped up. A lot of you here did. I, I know some of you. I recognize others. Uh, we opened 600 short-term beds. We didn't turn anybody away. Anybody who wanted access got it. We had extra vehicles on the road, both police and fire who are picking people up. I told people multiple times through the news media, if you saw somebody who was cold or was distressed, let us know and we would come get them. I personally, as your mayor, I went out and I walked the streets and I talked to people to make sure that they weren't freezing. Um, now, was that good enough? No. No, that was not good enough. Uh, but, you know, I really think as a, I'm sorry, I think as a community, uh, this is one of those issues where all of us have a role to play. Somebody mentioned at today's city council hearing, and I'm sorry I don't remember who it was, uh, Mr. Walsh or, or Mr. Sponberg or somebody. Don't use my that, name unless that, you <laughs> okay, thank you, Mr. Walsh. Uh, <laughs> you be doing it. So the uh, the uh, you know there there was a company Menashe that came forward. Uh, they've been working with the city and with nonprofit providers to provide more. Uh, safe alternatives to people living on the street uh, and he called out in the press conference that there are a lot of other facilities like that in the community and I absolutely want to encourage other people who have properties that are just sitting there vacant let's open them up like the to the community let's squat them let's take over all the bank I did That's take your advice apart and I um, rallied in my neighborhood and community we had over 100 blankets, 300 pairs of socks, and hot soup for 10 out of 15 days in a row with our chains and in the morning, morning it was 7 degrees. On Friday, leaving the protest, I stopped to assist a disabled veteran homeless gentleman at Class Mall who couldn't even speak, was coughing so hard. 
He said that he had just been released from the hospital and couldn't remember his shelter. I called AMR and they referred me to the police. The police were sitting directly in front of me for over 10 minutes while I offered him aid. I approached them and said, can you please help me? They ignored me. I asked them again, would you please offer me assistance to help this disabled man? They ignored me. I called a non-emergency number and the fire dispatcher was able to tell me what the shelter was, the Columbia shelter, seven blocks. I offered to push him in his walker and I was diverted around the police activity that what I saw was one policeman and an empty block. We had to walk him four extra blocks in the rain and no, none of the city employees would help me get shelter for So uh, the, the comment she made, if I could paraphrase Please. a little bit, um, she said during the ice storm she had come across somebody who looked distressed. No, during uh, the Friday. I'm sorry, during Friday, during the protest. Mm -hmm. During the protests on Friday, who looked distressed, she asked for assistance. She was concerned because she could not get the assistance of city personnel to help her. The police. The police in particular. Um, this is not going to be a satisfactory answer, but it's part of an answer. And let me think on this to give you a better and fuller answer for the future. Uh, I expect all city employees, regardless of what bureaus they are, they are public servants. And I would expect them mm -hmm. to offer whatever aid and assistance is required. Thank you. I was very and, disappointed. Um, I, I don't. You know, you're the first to tell me about this particular situation. I called 902 on I, Monday. I, I and was am, dismissed by your the person that answered the phone. Okay. Trayvon. Well, I'm, I'm I'm sorry about that, Thank and you. I, I will ask mm -hmm. my team to be more responsive. Yeah. As well. I I called 911 because there's a elderly guy over there near Pioneer Square before the protest that walked up to a police vehicle and said he needed medical help and the officer in the vehicle told him to get away. Uh, that is, so so let, let, me, let me reflect on this gentleman, I, and I'm sorry because I think people deserve to, to have, that, that, that is not acceptable. Uh, I, I, there's no better answer I can give you. Is that, that is not acceptable. I wouldn't accept that. If there, is, if there are people in our community I expect everybody in this community, especially the people who drive paycheck from the local government, to be responsive. And so, you know, I, 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 I don't know the whole thing, but that's not what I would expect. The ACLU this morning released a statement saying that the, uh, that the police bureau and their actions on Friday during protests um, were violent, militarized, and used excessive force. And if I remember correctly, I also read that you and Mike were also in the Texas building in the Pan Center issuing those orders um, on what the police were doing to protesters. And you were just saying that that's not acceptable and anyone who collects a paycheck from the city government should be acting um, impeccably. And I found that to be... Um, so let me respond. Order. So let me respond to that. Okay. okay, first of all, there were ten complaints filed with the IPR, the Independent Police Review Commission, that is in the independently elected auditor's office. Mm -hmm. All of the just a minute, hold on, all of well, the, the auditor is actually open today because I know she's testifying later this afternoon on a, a piece of legislation. But the, uh, the important issue here is I do not have all the facts. What I have, uh, I have my own view from where I was sitting. What I saw, just a minute, what I saw with my eyes, just a minute, what I saw with my eyes looked consistent with what I had said on the Friday before. And I said... I set what I believe were pretty clear parameters. If people disagree with those parameters, I'm open to the debate. If people want to have a different, but when it comes to use of force, listen to me. Yeah. This is an important I'm issue, I'm and it's important. Oh, yeah. Just well, a minute. Let it finish. Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. If just a minute. No, yeah, I not believe. Chill. Well, listen. We we all want to have a voice. There's a lot of us here, so let me do my level best to answer the gentleman's question. Dave, you're interrupting. Dave. One minute. Dave. One minute. Give it a minute. Let me have a shot to respond to the gentleman. There is a process that has been established in this city to take complaints and review them. Oh, okay. So you're not actually going to address your orders. Can we have an event not interrupt? In accordance with the rules, they'll be punished for it. That's it.
Okay, okay. Wait, can I respond? Can I respond? I, I would love to respond. So what I heard you say, what I heard you say is somebody will be held responsible. So, so the officer or officers that fired tear gas on Burnside will be held accountable for their actions? Guys, listen. Because that's what I want to hear out of your mouth is a okay, yes. Listen, listen. Okay. if it's just the loudest voice gets to ask the question, then nobody's going to get to ask a question. So let me try and answer your question. Sure. And uh, let's be respectful here and try and get everybody's issues answered. Uh, I do not yet have all of the facts. I don't like as being, you know, being mayor and acting without all of the facts. As you all know, there are often there is often more than one side to any story. Before I come out and uh, state my judgment, I want to know what all the facts are. The IPR process has been designed for that purpose. And if people don't like the process, or they don't like, or they don't like the parameters, then let's talk. Then let's talk as a community about Joe, Mr. Walsh. What I said. Stop Listen to that, Mr. Walsh. What I said beforehand was based on what I saw from where I was sitting. The use of force looked appropriate. You want me to leave? No, I don't want you. I would like to ask a question. All right, please. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to say I have, I have a dual question for you here. So um, several times throughout the ice storm, I was out there freezing my behind off, missing my family, missing meals, missing my time, exhausted out of my mind. And I saw many police just sitting in their cars doing nothing. I even knocked on a window of a police car and asked him, do you have anything in your trunk, which I know they do, that I could give to these people because I need this and that. No, and they drove off. I never saw cops so, in such a hurry to get out of there in my life. <laughs> and, well, I'm not done, actually. <laughs> you say that that behavior is unacceptable. You say things like the use of force that was shown and, and, and the culture of some of the police and their actions is unacceptable. Well, okay. <clears throat> I'm going to hold you to that. Yeah. No. Because... The last mayor didn't take us very seriously. And as a result, he's gone. he is gone, his term is up, and as a result, this community has no trust in the city council. The people that have the trust in you are the people with the money. Duh. But the community members that are actually out here on the front lines trying to help each other, trying to better this stuff, that are bleeding, getting sprayed, getting hurt, missing their got bronchitis, pneumonia, I can't... Hand, show of hands, who's had pneumonia this winter from helping out? Right here. I mean, we're literally <laughs> so to be attacked by the police, like we don't do anything around here, like we're just lazy protesters that just want to break stuff and make noise, is crap. That's and right. if you say that's unacceptable, then I, that shouldn't happen the next time we're in the streets trying to exercise our rights. Well, and listen. if that's unacceptable, then I should never ever see a cop within the vicinity of somebody who is houseless and sleeping on a sidewalk where I don't see him walk over and check in. If you say that's right. unacceptable, prove it. Okay, well, here, here's, here's how I'm going to play it as mayor. And okay. you can disagree with this. Yeah. I don't have a monopoly on what's right. <laughs> and, and that's fine. This Sorry. is a democracy. This is Portland. Uh, there aren't many cities in America where the mayor comes so out well. and stands here and has these conversations. Yeah. But I tried to be very clear and transparent several days before the protest about what I thought were the right steps to protect everybody's safety, not just the protesters, but everybody's. And because of what had happened a few weeks before, and I got there lots of miracles from people it. saying, I couldn't pick up my kid in childcare, I couldn't make my shift at work, and I got done. We tried to set some Another parameters. Baby died. I'm sorry that, that people Black people get to shot all the time. Mayor, 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 Mayor,
how late from my did, how late did you stay? How late did you stay? We hope to be changing the perspective. I left the emergency operations center at about 10 p.m. on Friday. Okay, so then when the protesters were kettled three ways and they were forced to march east no on, on, on the max track. Right about the time you left. Who gave the okay to shoot those people in the face? So I would set the parameters as mayor. And I said, no freeways. Right. That meant no bridges. So what you I just said, said no is you violence. set the parameters for that. We haven't done any of those. So what's no, we didn't take a highway, we didn't take a bridge, guys, we didn't break anything, guys, and there was no violence on our part. If anybody believes Behaved inappropriately again. You, you have approved the it. Who's you said you approved it. Who said you, who you, said you set the parameters? The, no, please. Who gave the authority on next so to? So I, I set the broad parameters. <laughs> right. The mm -hmm. police chief. That guy. Makes the so Mike Marshman said, pull the trigger on those people's faces. Well, ultimately, he, he probably. And he needs to go. Why is he still here? He needs right. to go. Yeah, yeah, save yourself. Throw him, him over. I have a question. Right. Right. But some, somebody, somebody needs to be held accountable. You just call yeah. Save yourself and throw him under the bus. If you're the. If there's. believe that the police did not behave in accordance with your own policy. You believe they did. We know how you see us now. In this community that you can follow. <laughs> no, there is no process. You can't attack people that aren't doing anything. That's, that's, that is the problem. Is that, that there's some sort of process with people being attacked. There is no fucking process. You don't attack people, period. Sir, sir, it's not the least for the police. Because consistently, the Portland police have displayed a level of violence and disregard for our rights over the years, even to people who are just passing through a protest and happen upon the whole thing. Right. It is not my job to file paper after paper with the independent review. It's your job you to made review yourself them. police it's commissioner, your so commission them. Okay. Folks, folks. Fire uh, Mike. You know what? I have a question. Why are you approving of this action? I am accountable for their actions, and that's why I want to have my accountable. No, won't work. Won't work. Saying that it was fair, you made a comment to the public. A comment, no, I want to say this. You made a comment to the public, what and I that say? swayed the public. You said it's that undermining that trust like your perspective, for First your Amendment view. activists. Yes. Why did you make that comment without having reviewed as much footage as possible, because without going out there and seeking out my bloggers who filmed? I have six hours of footage. I'll give it to you. I'll give you six hours of footage. Here's what I said. I said, from my perspective, having been in the EOC, I had... You know, access to certain Presumably you should know more than the rest of us then, and what we saw was we you know got what? tear gas. Right now, nobody has all the facts. Nobody, not <laughs> The people in the crowd are yeah. 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 You are just yeah. right now, and you're yeah. telling us that you're still don't respect what we're saying. You got, you got, That's what you're talking about. You're not putting words into my mouth. So what I am telling you, what about the two people who were on their anniversary? Who got rubber bullets? Again, there is a process whereby if any citizen in this community, you or anybody else, has a, well, listen, you can take the process, don't just work, and work for the defense of the process. May I ask a question? Yes, sir. Thank you. The ACLU in their statement this morning, have you checked that out? I have not had a chance to read it. I will read it. Yes, I will. I will read it. They said the permitting process that you keep pushing on protesters to use is unconstitutional. You know what? Yeah, I, I support. That that. Listen, <laughs> I long supported the ACLU. I support the court system as being an important part of democracy. And if a court holds that I'm wrong, I'll, I'll abide by that. I'll respect it. You'll fire my No, person? the ACLU has said yes. that we are wrong. That's the permitting You guys are wrong. 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 You guys are
Well, the uh, National Lawyers Guild had like three people that were <laughs> shot by those rubber bullets. <laughs> well, Portland Mercury's uh, duck hunt, they were putting flashlights in his face and his camera. Yeah. <laughs> he was closer to the house. Okay. We work with the JTTF. Well, another question is, yeah, J-Shuttle, that probably means nothing now, right? Do you use any stingrays? Wait a minute, I was still talking, that's rude. I'm not talking, you're not talking to her, I'm over here. Sorry, sorry. Okay, I was on that bridge trying to get home with my daughter because she was scared of what was happening downtown. Your officer beat her in the face with paper points. There was no way, nowhere for us to go. As a mother, I chose to take my daughter and leave, and then we were peddled into the downtown. I could not get home until after midnight, and I had to walk her all the way across the road garden. You guys check the buses here. And every chance we got to turn, there was another officer there. That, for me, traumatized my child. She didn't have, she had no idea what was, what was to come. Would you guys just shut us down? In the city, we couldn't, we couldn't get home. None of us could get home. So let me respond to that. Uh, the question, in case, yeah, you know, I'm going to paraphrase if that's all right. Uh, she had her child. She was trying to get home. The buses had shut down. Uh, that was one of the things that I said in advance I wanted to avoid was the transit system shutting down. Those of you, who, excuse me, those of you who were in the march left Pioneer Square and where's the first place that you went? You went right down the bus wall, shutting down the transit system. But this is four hours later. constitutionally protected. In trying to transit going, <laughs> so the people can get to work, and people can pick up their kids at school, and people aren't peddled, as you say, into the downtown area. I'm open to ways to do that. The shutdown was excessive. Right. I had to run with my baby. All the way across. I'm sorry the about that. You shouldn't have to. No, not at all. How are we next time? Going to make it so that the police know that protesters are the main group that are fucking up shit, and, and the regular people trying to get their kids home, because that was fucked up. Yeah, I so can't tell you how many. How they get the essence really bad. Here's what I would recommend. Here's what I'd recommend. If you care about that transit system, I know people think it is a capitulation to ask for a permit. If you ask for a permit and we grant I'm not paying Fuck your permit. Can we get free permits? Listen, will you buy our permits? Will you buy our permits? Will you buy our permits? You're telling me on one hand you want certainty with the transit system, and then you're saying, but we're not going to have any parameters over what happens to the transit system. You guys have to make some choices. Ted, go your way. You've also got to make some choices. Will you buy our permit? Will the city buy our permit instead of forcing us to pay extortion money? You know, we have to take I suggest, believe it or not, I am actually open to the idea of encouraging more permits. I would look at the permit. Wait a minute. I want to respond. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If City Hall waves the fee, will you get a permit? I'll go get yes. a permit. Yes. yes. I'm going to get a permit. Okay. Okay. Will you deny I will. permit? Not always. Will you deny permit? What about, what about when we don't want a permit? Right. What about when we don't okay. want a permit? I will look at that. Will you use it as an excuse? I don't need a permit. I'm not going to ask permission to exercise. 
Well, well you asked the city of Toronto to review the contract. I'm not going to ask you to review it. I don't want to ask you. There's a division here, so maybe you guys should sit here and talk it up. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate the content. Do you believe it would have been less violent or more? I'm fine. Do you believe it would have been less violent or more violent if the police were not there? I don't even know what that is. Stingray. You don't know what it is. You're overseeing the police department. I don't know all the everything. What's your official title? It's where, the, uh, where it serves as a satellite. Dave, I'm, I'm being honest with you. The answer is I don't know. The answer is I don't know. Passwords I'm sorry. Your phone, accesses your information. How quickly did you uh, get a serious We want parchment! 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 What? You know, you <laughs> and then you know the rest of the, and, and please just say we talked, and I'll make sure that I get it. Um, and I appreciate what you guys did the other day, handing out the food. So what about me being illegally? Okay. Last question, Tim. Thank you. Thank you. One more. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank if it's found that Mike Marsh may violate our constitutional rights, will you fire him? Will you, you fire him? him? You know, I'm not going to sit here and have a personnel debate on a hypothetical, yeah. Jesse. It's ridiculous. Yeah. 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 Hey. Yes, we want accountability. That's my question. Thanks for coming out, Ted. You're a jerk, but you got balls. <laughs> <laughs> <Fire, Mark>, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>